What's up guys, Eric here, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Batwoman season two. Is this a how to fix Batwoman season two video? I don't know, it could turn into that. I think it's more of like a what if, or like options. What if Batwoman season two actually had options, or better options, or different choices, or things like that. I wanna do this for like all the shows at the end of their seasons, like if I didn't like something in the story, it was very messy to me, like sort of fix it from my perspective. Like, I think that would be fun. So if you guys are interested in something like that after watching this video, let me know in the comments below and we'll try and do it for like all the shows. Uh, basically what I wanna do is like, you know, discuss some possibilities for Batwoman season two that, you know, in my opinion, could have made the entire season better. Now, keep in mind, these aren't scripts. They aren't full episode changes. It's more or less like, um, like a season guideline of things that if done differently, could have set the season in a completely different direction, maybe a better direction. I got three of them, so sit tight and let's discuss them. We're gonna start out with number one, and that is recasting Kate Kane earlier. So after it was announced that Ruby Rose was leaving the show, I mean, they were stuck in a tough situation. Not only is replacing a lead character of a series is already covered in so much controversy, a tall order, but they had to do it in the midst of a global pandemic. We know they eventually came to the decision to go with another person as the lead of the show, shifting focus, but what if they had just recast Kate Kane from the start. One of the biggest complaints I heard about Batwoman during its first season was that Ruby Rose wasn't sitting well with a lot of viewers. Now, I personally didn't have an issue with Ruby. I just didn't think she felt totally committed to the character like up until the end of the season. That was my takeaway. So when she was upfront about leaving, a lot of folks wondered if they would just recast Kate Kane. I remember having lots of conversations during live streams and such like, are they just gonna recast or what are they gonna do? Now, showrunner Caroline uh, Dry said that I am paraphrasing paraphrasing here on what she said, that she didn't want to recast Kate Kane without a proper story. And she felt that fans wouldn't appreciate, you know, having to warm up to a new Kate Kane um, and that people coming into the second season will be confused. It was kind of a little mismatch of all of that. But ultimately, I mean, she did it anyway. Uh, yes, there's a story involved, but why didn't they just do this from the start, right? So if you look back at Kate's story from season two, it could have been turned into a season opener. Unfortunately, Ryan played a you know very little of a role in the Kate Kane story. Most of that heavy lifting was given to Alice, and rightfully so. That character would have had the most motivation to look for Kate. But unfortunately, with Ryan being there and being the lead of the show, it did feel a little odd. So if you just say, for example, recast Kate from the beginning, you did not go with the Ryan character at all, and you subtract all the Ryan stuff from, from everything Kate-related and insert any other member of Team Batwoman um, into that slot, like Sophie or Julia or anyone else in that slot, you could have done like a two or three episode opener where they were searching for Kate. They find her pretending to be Black Mask's daughter. You know, they, they literally could have just opened the season with that storyline and spent very little of the season setting it up. Imagine if we establish that Cersei is Kate early on and then we spend a chunk of the season, uh, season two in flashbacks and how it all happened. Sort of like Arrow did for many seasons. Uh, two episodes or three episodes with another character like Sophie or Julia playing Batwoman while hunting for Kate would have allowed them to fill in that time and still retain their original lead character. It seems pretty obvious to me that Wallace Day is great in the role of Kate Kane. Um, and had they went with her, even if they needed to delay her on screen for a few episodes, they could have done it. I mean, her character was wearing that ugly mask for a bit. They could have just left that face mask on a stunt person or another actress for two or three episodes before revealing Wallace Day. There was ways they could have done that. You know what I mean? So, I'm, you know, I'm going out on a limb here saying they delayed Kate coming back for storytelling purposes. Um, and maybe Wallace could have showed up a bit earlier. I don't know for sure, but we're just speaking in hypotheticals anyway. But I feel like if they would have done Wallace earlier in the season and wrapped up that Kate story earlier in the season, it would have been different. My point is the majority of season two, our characters are out looking for Kate or trying to help Kate, right? So having Kate back would have changed just a couple of episodes overall, like for the whole season. And unfortunately that speaks a lot to their dedication to the story of Ryan, which was like none, and how they mishandled that character completely. So we could have just spent some time dealing with Kate's trauma from being used by Black Mask, something that we're now gonna miss out on because they decided it was best for Kate to just leave and go on a hunt for Bruce Wayne. So I truly believe having Kate came back sooner would have definitely drastically improved a lot of the story issues with season two, specifically the Kate Kane stuff, because the Ryan stuff felt so backseat to Kate Kane until the very end of the season. Now let's talk about my second scenario, and that would be uh, avoid Kate's overshadowing by leaving her missing in action. 
So the showrunner, Caroline Dries, 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 I can never remember which way that's pronounced, uh, wanted to stay away from the barrier gaze trope that seems to be all too prevalent in media, right? Now, I don't have a problem with that at all. I think it's a smart move to do something unexpected. And so didn't really have an issue with that. So for me, the obvious solution would be to leave the door open and have Kate go missing so the team has to mourn her and they just let that story fade away for a bit. You now have Ryan, and it's a shame to have our first season so overshadowed by Alice and the hunt of Kate that we didn't get a real proper feel for the character. At every turn, they're using Ryan as a prop for an episode about something that could have been like legitimate, like smart social commentary. Instead, it felt like 100% surface level because so much of the season was focusing on Kate, we never really got to know Ryan. Now, I was excited when Ryan was coming onto the show. The energy that Javicia had for the character and the backstage peaks from social media, it basically showed me that everyone on the series was excited about this new direction. Like, we all were. I talked about it a lot. So leaving Kate missing in action would have totally made that work in a much better way. Why not embrace this new Batwoman? We have a black lesbian Batwoman, a character who isn't from the comics or wasn't at that time. Um, why are we still telling stories from the perspective of characters who aren't reflective of this new character on the series? Alice and Kate dominated the season with Ryan being sidelined so often and sometimes even secondary to the main characters. And that's not how it should have been. I've said this for The Flash and I'm saying it for Batwoman. The main character needs to be the focus character of the series. That's the whole point. And on both of these shows, on The Flash and Batwoman, I know we're not talking about The Flash, they have an issue with doing that. Um, it's like the showrunner wanted Kate. They wanted to keep Kate, but they didn't want to keep Kate. So they used the mystery of Kate and of her coming back to keep the old viewers invested a show that desperately needed a reinvention and needed new viewers. They never had to say Kate was dead, right? They could have just gone with the Bruce storyline and said that Kate was missing. And sure, maybe later on they could have had clues to where she was, but instead they took too much time building up and giving us this Kate story and this Kate character we love only to take her away again. And this is all also in an effort to keep Alice relevant on the show because they didn't want to get rid of a character that was a fan favorite who literally didn't have big enough of a connection to Ryan, even though she had like the killing the mother story or whatever, which by the way, could have been used, but they didn't really use that. And that was kind of just the small thing that kind of went on here and there over the season. Never really used that. They could have just left, up with, left us with a mystery of Kate and gave Ryan the spotlight, but they didn't. They did not do that. All right, so let's go with my last scenario, and that would be allowing Ryan and Kate to actually work together. Now, here is my last option. If they wanted to do this uh, Black Mask, Kate Kane storyline, but also wanted to keep Ryan as their lead, they could have just had the story earlier in the season, wrap it up, keep Kate around with some injury that allows her to help, but not out in the field. This way we could have had Kate share her trauma with the team, with the viewers, with Ryan, and also still be a part of the show and part of the team. We'd have both of them. This would be the team up that so many fans would have appreciated. I think this would have made the back half of the season even better. It would have fixed all the problems we had, the story focus being shifted around. Then we could have spent a portion of the season also trying to redeem Alice since that's something that they want to do so badly. Could you imagine Alice being redeemed much earlier in the season? You know, atoning for what she's done while uh, Kate and Ryan are working together with the team Batwoman. They could have still done the Crow storyline. They could have done all the stuff with Sophia and Ocean just dangling another carrot in front of Alice. They could have picked anything. It could have been absolutely anything. It didn't have to be Kate since Kate wasn't even there anyway. They could have done anything. They just spent so much of season two making so many mistakes. I have to imagine they could have gone in a much better direction and still achieved what they wanted from the series. More than what they wanted. They just had to think it out a bit more. Instead, we got this surface level show with nothing deeper than that. And it's really frustrating to me because I want to know Ryan as a character. And I feel like Ryan was literally just doing like social commentary episodes and we did not get to know her at all. I know more about so many other characters on the show than Ryan. And that's unfortunate because she was coming in as the new lead to the series. She should have been the focus. She should have been the main character. And if you did not want to do that, then you should have just recast Kate Kane from the beginning. I'm kind of ranting here a bit at the end, but I'm just so frustrated with Batwoman. They did a solid wrap up for the season. I don't think their last few episodes were awful, 
but they could have been so much better all season long. And these are my three things. Let's recap them quickly before I go. Number one would have been recasting Kate Kane earlier. That could have helped. Number two would be avoid Kate's overshadowing by leaving her MIA, missing in action. That way you don't have to do the trope and you don't have to have her overshadow the season at the same time. And the third one, which I think would have been the coolest one, would be allowing Ryan and Kate to work together. So many people wanted that to happen by the end of the season for, for Kate to basically say, I'm going to stick around. I'm going to help out. You're still wearing the suit. You're still out in the field. And I'm here, uh, you know, at the back cave and I'll be doing things from behind the scenes or whatever while I work out my trauma. That would have been a the correct way to handle it, but they did not do it. And it's so frustrating to me as a viewer. But look, these are just my thoughts. Um, I might do this for all the shows. If you guys would like, I could do like top three ways they could fix The Flash Season 7, top three ways they could fix Legend of Tomorrow. Like I could do this for the other shows if you'd like. So let me know in the comments below if you're interested in that. Uh, also, give me your opinion and your thoughts. Are there ways that they could have fixed Batwoman Season 2 that, you th that you're thinking of that I didn't think of? I'd love to hear from you uh, about that as well. Leave a comment, subscribe if you're new, leave a like on the video, and I will catch you guys in the next video. See you then.